Once upon a time, all clothing was made by hand. Then, in 1769, British inventor James Hargreaves invented the spinning jenny. People were panicked that this would end life as they knew it. Then, legendary Ned Ludd decided to do something about it. Refusing to embrace technology, he broke every machine he could, giving rise to the Luddite movement. Nonetheless, people began to embrace the new technology. An industrial revolution came about. Then came a second industrial revolution, led in part by Andrew Carnegie of Pittsburgh. The second revolution brought many positive changes. It also brought issues such as child labor. Carnegie, with engineer and author Morris Llewellyn Cook, conceived of a factory-like school system to standardize education and end child labor. Carnegie's steel factories grew and died in the 20th century. So did one of the factory-like schools in Midland, Pennsylvania. The town could no longer afford to operate its public school district. But technology came to the rescue again. Dr. Nick Trombetta, superintendent of the Midland School District, created a cyber charter school. It was called the Western Pennsylvania Cyber Charter School, now PA Cyber, and was the first statewide K-12 cyber charter school. Not only did it serve students from Midland, but it also served disenfranchised students from across the state, including advanced, delayed, bullied, disabled, and other underserved children. However, new technologies lead to new Luddites. There are those in the old school factory system that fear the new cyber charter schools. Many in the education field fear that the cyber charter schools will end school life as we know it. Like in the textile industry, because it is more economical, technology will ultimately win the day. Bricks and mortar schools are using more and more cyber technology. Cyber schools are building more and more bricks and mortar sites to serve their students. It's still an emerging system, and Greater Pittsburgh has a choice to make. Pittsburgh is uniquely qualified to be a leader in this area because they have both expertise and experience. They excel at both education and technology. Will they be Luddites and fear change in life and culture as we know it? Or will they be leaders and embrace the wave of the future?